Good evening there, everybody. This is your captain speaking. We are currently at an altitude of 30,000 feet. A lovely clear night sky. Nice and quiet for your relaxing journey tonight. We'd like just to remind you that we've got all of our services here for all of our first class, business class, upper class customers and passengers flying with us today. So please do take advantage of all the things this plane has to offer. We've got our doctors going around, so if you want great or nerve examinations, eye examinations, any examination, they'd be more than obliging to help you out and give you something to do whilst you're on this flight. As well as our barber who is going around giving haircuts, wet towel shaves, everything that you need along with our bartender serving your personal drinking needs. And just a reminder that all of those below first class, yeah, that's you speaking directly to third class, I would like to remind you that none of us want to see any of you wandering up in first class, so please do remain in your seat and don't bother all of our important passengers here tonight. We hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. We'll be checking <coughs> later. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry to disturb you. Uh, it just looks like you're in dire need of a haircut. Well, it's just one of the services we offer here on the airline. How you've managed to acquire a business class is a great mystery to me. Well, don't you know you can get your haircut in business class? Well, I know other people book, but you look like you need one. Well, you're in business class after all. No, 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 just, just just, stop talking to me. I'm going to give you a haircut, okay? We want to make sure that you have the very best business class experience here on this flight, and you can do with a little bit of smartening up. Okay, is that quite amenable for you? Yeah, I might ask you a little personal question before we begin. Okay, how is it that you acquired a business class plane ticket? Let me finish and then decided to come aboard this plane looking like that. Food for thought, let me get my scissors. open for me. That's great. Yes, I know it went in your face. You look like you could do a little bit of a wash. I won't use a coat on you because I just presume that's going to be hopeless and I shall brush away all of the hair in your face and hopefully it will roof fall on your clothes there. Okay, great. services we make sure we do in this airline is to find people who look like they haven't had a, a good enough haircut 
to very much target those people and give them the haircut. Or how do we get scissors on the plane? Well, in fact that I'm just one of those exceptions, so don't worry about it. You are getting a haircut. there for you okay we don't want them to be smelling someone like you you know that sort of having bath for a very long time it's also a shower on this plane and I highly recommend you take use of it so hopefully this will stink for you there we go it's a little bit fresh a little bit fresh okay a bit spicy on there for you but it's seating area here. Yeah, it's a little bit cozy, isn't it? it? This is definitely your area, isn't it? You're not sitting in someone else's seat. You haven't really come from the third class, have you? 
luggage area. So this is definitely your compartment. Good. Just one thing, just small. Appliances here, he was, oh, because I'm me, so I could do whatever I want. Okay, we're just going to apply a little bit of oil down there, just on those areas there. Okay, there for you, that's good. Okay, <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a hotel. Oh, it definitely is a hotel. There we go. There we go. So that should be nice and feeling good for you there. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to apply this on your face. Oh, that's so much better. How pleasant. That's so nice. Yeah, I mean, that looks so much better on you. I don't know why you don't keep that looking a bit more often. Yeah, there we go. What a shame. Okay, so we've got a little bit of styling to do here. Sometimes it will, you'll be able to reuse things, but this is touchy, and I don't think any of the other business class owners around here would want to share this with you just in case they want a haircut. So I'm just going to leave this in your area here, okay, for safekeeping slash a souvenir for you. I hope you enjoyed. Is there anything else I could do for you for your haircut? No? Well, if I see any untidiness there for you for sleep anywhere, I'll be coming back to sort it out there for you. Okay, remember, keep nice and posh looking, upper class, speak, pronunciate properly, you know, all of these things to maintain the illusion for which you are trying to elude us all with at the moment. Good day. Elude the free eye examination. That's lovely, not to worry, okay. Elude the free eye examination. Examination. That's so great. That's really great to meet a patient who would like to get that done during their flight. It's just one of the services that we offer here on board the flight. Getting your eyes checked can be one of those things that you don't really have time for back on the mainland. So when you can get it done during the flight, that's one of the reasons why uh, I offer my services here on this plane because it's a perfect time for a patient such as yourself who is now my new patient my new favorite patient to get the rice tested and checked out and save time during your flight so this is a time where you need things to do things to distract your mind a little bit you know take your mind off various things and things like a productive eye examination will help you beyond measure whilst you continue your flight okay that's good well you notice that because it's a flight there's certain limitations and what we can and can't do where as if we're in the surgery then we can turn off the lights and things like that but as we're on the plane we use the current ambience of the light and work with that and get you to look at some charts and things like that and I'm going to get you to perform a couple of easy things which I'm sure you'll enjoy doing anyway you'll feel relaxed as we do it but you'll also feel satisfied too it's a perfect combination perfect for a flight does that sound good I knew it would good okay so I'm going to get my torch the first thing we're we going to do it's just a quick follow the torch exam okay just it's a simple procedure here and I'd just like you to follow the movement here on this tip of the torch here just keep following that for me you can do that right that's it you're doing it so well well done you're yeah, really good that's perfect and then just keep following the tip of the pen of the torch there perfect now at the top I'm gonna to bring the torch from the top all the way to here and then from the top here all the way down to here if you could just gaze your attention to the torch here keep following it for me and I keep looking at your eyes there this is a slightly closer exam just to make sure that everything's looking healthy which I can tell you already it is but it's just a double check 
just keep looking at the torch there for me as I bring it down. Just keep doing it. Perfect. You've done amazingly there. Same again. Just keep looking at the torch. I'm going to bring it down. Just study it. There we go. As I study your eyes. That's great. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to make some little shapes for me. If you can just tell me what they are. Square. Good. Circle. Good. Rectangle. Great. Isosceles triangle. Really good. Okay, so we're going to just perform the same test, but I'm going to cover one of your eyes there. Okay, so I'm going to cover your right eye there. Is that alright? Okay, feeling good. Perfect. Now I'm just going to do the same thing. Just tell me what shape I'm creating here. Excellent. Square, great. Isosceles triangle, that's really good. And a rectangle, perfect. Same again on the other line, other eye. Right. This is almost part of what you do on a cranial nerve examination, but it's very good for eye exams too. Just seeing your pupils move around and how it reacts to the light and certain movement. Okay, and yep, that's a square one. Just keep looking if you could just tell me what shapes this is. Okay, circle, so, oh, great. Rectangle, that's really good. A cute triangle, there we go, that's great. Really good. Now I'm going to do some very quick flashes here, okay. Once I do that, I'm going to be looking at your retina, how it expands, and uh, your pupils, and how it reacts to the light being shone in it. Okay, is that alright? There shouldn't be anything intrusive about this at all, and hopefully you're still feeling comfortable, and you're still enjoying your flight. That's really great here. You compliment me too much, honestly. It is the pleasure, it's all mine, to be able to do this for you. Okay, you just keep relaxing there in your business class. You've 100% earned this. <laughs> okay, so just... somewhere just look at perfect that's really good perfect that's great yep everything's looking really good there for me and for you so we've just got this simple chart here I'm just going to get you to say a couple of the letters that you see here I think we're at optimum position here for you to have a good look at this for me okay what does this let's say here P, that's great. This one here, L, that's really good. This one here, Z, that's really good. And this one here as well, Z, okay. If you could read from the bottom, third and bottom line going from right to left for me, okay. O, P, E, T, D, C, F, no, F, C. <laughs> That was my mistake, not yours. Okay, and same again from right to left for me here on the third line. D, E, P, 
L Z easy right okay what's this letter here that's great what's this color here that's really good what's this color here that's great now tell me what letter that is right there at the bottom D and can you read that line there for me P F C D T Z P well done and now the next line on top can you read from left to right there for me L D C excellent Z O T E perfect well done okay there's nothing to suspect that your vision is uh, not good at all it is perfectly healthy looking to me okay now if we bring it up to the next line if you can read from left to right there for me that would be really nice and whilst you do that i'm just going to pop this and cover your eye up there okay so from right to left for me is that a little bit blurry for you okay no, not to worry not to worry we just get it right there for you okay so what you should see f d t e p oh that's perfect next one up d p c z l f t perfect next one up e t o d c f okay right at the bottom can you tell me what that says there yeah just right at the bottom there that's really good p f c d d z p that's perfect well done and we're just gonna do the same thing again but on the other right there just cover that up there making sure that you can see everything you need to see okay just let me know when you're ready there no rush <laughs> it's a long flight so you don't need to rush about oh, don't need to rush for anything okay if you could just read the top line there for me tz perfect next one down pto okay see yeah that's really great next one z l p e d perfect that's really good and then the next one below that if you can e t o d c f perfect we're going to bring it all the way down now you can tell me what that second to last line is left to right l d c z o t e well done now from right to left from the bottom line if you can p z t d c f p well no you're just showing off there appears to be nothing wrong with your vision there whatsoever okay so i'm just going to see how fast you can trace okay so what's this letter here perfect this one here perfect this one here perfect this one here perfect this one here okay this one here okay this one here okay this one here yeah that's really good well you'll be pleased to know that concludes your eye examination here aboard this plane and I can tell you straight away that your vision to me is just perfect there. <laughs> if you were getting eye examination when you're back home then yeah you probably won't need to visit for a while because your vision to me and your eyes look healthy and your vision seems very spot on and you know exactly what's in front of you which is really good which I predicted at the start anyway but it's really great uh, for you to get these things done and thank you for letting me do that for you as well aboard your flight i know some people don't really want to do that so it really makes me very happy that you wanted to get that done that really means a lot so thank you so much is there anything else i can do for you any other questions from a gp point of view gp perspective shall we say no, that's really good well i really hope that you enjoy the rest of your flight please take advantage of all things this plane has to offer great it was great meeting you take care then on your personal bartender here for the rest of your flight okay and then you need any drinks you want just let me know and i'll come over and sort you out so you just ordered a uh, diet coke okay that was a coke with no sugar perfect and then a pina colada then instead of the pineapple you wanted fruit punch in there as well like a passion fruit thing that's perfect that could do that for you that's no not a problem whatsoever and then a disrano and coke excellent we can make those three drinks you no problem not a problem at all not worry i'll get those sort of you straight away with your drinks there would you like a slice of lemon in the coke or pina clotter or the disrano and coke or perhaps all three perfect all three is a perfectly fine choice for you to have to enjoy your flight with so i've just got my personal bar here i'm just going to make your drinks here for you and get them to you you need to just relax okay enjoy your drinks and then all of your flight that's what it's all about completely zoning in and the flight having a nice drink by your side and really just zoning out and feeling good that's great i'll make you your coke first is that okay now we just pop it down there for you really good excellent okay the 
thing so let's do to make sure there's not going to be any fizz up over and oh you're really nice clothes there i might say that's a really nice haircut you had there and your eyes seem to be glistening just to squeeze a little bit of lemon in there for you well it's your preference really but I would say in business class we would squeeze that lemon in there for you okay that is a really great choice there okay excellent yeah we're just adding the lemon in there that's really nice just let me know when perfect no, that is the perfect amount there for you Okay, so that's one nice Diet Coke there for you. Shall I put it on the side there for you? It's my pleasure. Now, please, can I make you a peanut clutter? That's an excellent choice and very refreshing and perfect uh, drink for you to go on a flight with. Excellent. So, if one would like to just check the bottle, this is just the Malibu bottle here. Okay. That's looking good. Single, double, or triple. Okay, double, that's perfect. A fine choice if you want to top up in that anytime, just let me know and I'll be straight over and stop you up in there. Great. This is your captain speaking. We are all nice and peacefully quiet here aboard our flight, and I hope that you're enjoying your journey with us here today with our AT Airlines. We hope that you're taking advantage of all our amenities here on board tonight, seeing all of our starfish. You should do many things to keep entertained, well looked after, and keep it happy and relaxed. Just let all of our third class go away passengers know that. We would like to keep you there and to keep you nice and relaxed. So anything that you need, just let one of our first class staff members know and they will make sure that you're taken care of so you are not disturbing our first class passengers. We don't have any class mixing here aboard this flight. We hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. Thank you. It wouldn't be too unfamiliar to not have a slice of lemon in there or some sort of fruit in there, so can I add some lemon in there for you as well? That's perfect, that's really good. And would you like me to put a little piece of lemon in there or would you like me to squeeze it in there for you? A piece of lemon, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to put this around the rim here of the drink. Okay, 
squeeze just the tiniest little amount in there. And now I'm going to pop the lemon in there for you. And there's a really nice pina colada there for you. Okay, can I, oh, perhaps I should put that there for you. That's great. And then finally, it was a disorder and coke. That's a fine choice. Let me make that for you. Just a little bit more flavour if you wish. That's perfectly squeezed or placed in. Both fine choice. Okay, so a little bit of lemon run the rim there, just for add a little bit of taste in there for you. Squeeze it. Okay, just a little bit of squeeze there. A little bit of a squeeze there. And I'll place the lemon in there for you. Okay, and I'll also spill it all on the floor for you. So let me place your drink here for you. And there are your drinks there for you. Is there any other drink that you like? Like I said, if you need anything, just let me know. Just put up your hand or something like that, or just give me the nod. I'll look over straight out directly at you, and I'll come over within a flash. So if you have any drink that you need, I'm your personal bartender, okay? So you get the luxury of that in business class. So anything you need, please don't hesitate. If you need a drink at all, I'm not mad to call. Okay, anything else I can help you with? Okay, well, anything, this plane has everything that you could possibly think of for when you're traveling. So you really will have a great flight. So just enjoy the rest of your flight. Enjoy your drinks. Okay, take care of yourself. Cheerio.